Hello, my name is Megan and I am addicted to lilac. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am here to share with you my very first tag video. I thought of this when I was watching my friend Dale's most recent video all about her love of lilac. I say embrace this obsession, Dale, okay? And I am here to do this video in solidarity because I am also a little obsessed with the lilacs and lavenders and sometimes I really don't know which one to call it and I'll I'll find myself flip-flopping. So if I call something lilac in this video and you're gonna be like, no, 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 that's lavender, please forgive me because I can never really tell the difference between the two and I haven't bothered to check. But, you know, please forgive me. We'll get past this. I have been inspired to do my very first tag video. I wanna see the colors that people are just obsessed with and all the little things that they find themselves gravitating towards and picking up in that color. And I know exactly who I'm gonna tag <laughs> to do this because I know that she has a color that she loves. And even if she doesn't have a lot of other things in this color, I, she has some pretty bags and I know that we'll enjoy that. So I will get to that later. But to start out with, Again, in support of my friend Dale, okay, I'm going to share with you all of the odd bits and bobs, some fashion pieces, some other things that I have picked up in these gorgeous purple shades. Start out with a recent purchase. I did get a pair of shoes. <laughs> these awesome Allbirds lilac, see, I'm already struggling with it. Uh, these lilac sneakers, I love these as walking shoes. They're just, yeah, I love the color. I didn't really need them, but I I wanted them. I wanted to have that little matchy matchy 90s moment with some of the things that we're gonna get to in a minute. And even like this tank top that I recently got, I think, I think they're just really cute together. Um, something not so sporty, but it was actually designed as, as women's sportswear for I think the 1950s. I have this awesome dress with greens and assortment of purples. This is a dress that goes past my knees and it was designed as the modern woman sportswear for the time. Um, there's something really funny about that when you have a cotton tea dress, you know. Um, I have finally gotten some things that I think will modernize it and make it a little bit easier to wear, but I loved the purples in this. Speaking of purples and greens, I got this bag at the exact same time. Now you know I love green bags, but you know, I don't have a lot of other green in my wardrobe. It's really purples that I, I'm drawn towards. And this has that really nice green and purple. <laughs> it's a lot when I wear them together. Oh, but I love it. Okay, so the purple obsession continued with sweaters. Last year I picked up quite a few purple sweaters to wear with the bags and things. Now, I broke away from my typical navy cardigan, starting out, you know, really tame. I got a kind of lavender cardigan. You've seen this in a number of videos. I really like it. I feel like it's just a little bit more lively than my usual navy. Then I got this cashmere sweater in this really pale, light purple. I saw it at Nordstrom and I knew it would go on sale and so I was waiting for a few months and what do you know, it went on sale and I snapped it up immediately. I love these. In fact, just reaching, I love these together. I think it's super cute. Like I said, I can't wait to have that little 90s moment of the matchy matchy. It'll look a little ridiculous but also a lot of fun. Uh, my purple sweater obsession did not end there. I picked this up maybe a few weeks later. This is a totally different fit, so in my mind it was justified. This is really slouchy, really loose. Sometimes I tuck it into jeans, but not necessarily. I really like that it's longer, so sometimes, and I've shown this in a video, I'll wear my white Chanel classic flap crossbody, so it sits a little bit higher anyway, but I love it with this slouchy, relaxed, pale purple sweater. 
I think it just makes it a little bit cooler. Okay, so the final clothing item. This is something similar to what Dale has, but she has an awesome suit in this color. I only have a jacket. So this is a linen jacket from J. Crew. I got it in the sale recently, but it's been way too hot to wear. I could never wear something long sleeved in our swampy summers. So I will absolutely be wearing this in the fall. I do not believe in sticking to like autumnal colors and whatnot. Maybe it's more of a springtime jacket, but I'm absolutely going to wear this with like white silks and whatever. I feel like I love this color and I have been waiting for weeks to finally wear it. And it's, it's finally starting to cool down. I think I will soon, but yes, I couldn't help myself when I saw this color. If it was any other color, I would not have bought that jacket. I don't need another jacket. I already have a bunch of blazers, but yes, I couldn't help myself. Another thing that I could not help myself, we're breaking away from clothes and now just into random bits and bobs. I got a water bottle. Now, do we have other water bottles in the house? Yes, but none that are this pretty because it is very pretty. I really love this actually because it doesn't at all sweat because um, it's because of the insulation. So I can have ice cold water in here and it never ever leaks, it never sweats. So I can carry this around in a bag and I don't have to worry about it ruining my bag or my wallet or any other things in there. So yes, this has actually been really, really useful and it's in a pretty color. Oh, so I don't think I've shown these yet, but I have shown these on Instagram. These are my already very tired looking new slippers. I got these in the Nordstrom sale. Did I need slippers? No, but it's the color. I wanted them and I have been wearing them nonstop. I made a mistake and I got a size too big. I realized that I should have um, I should have gone down a size and they are already a little dirty. So maybe getting a light color pair of slippers is not a good idea, but I still, I still love the color. I had to, it makes me happy, you know? So up next, oh gosh, where are we now? Um, I have two more items. If you're familiar with my channel, they will not be a surprise, but I got this in the springtime from Bottega. It's my little lambskin card holder. I love this wallet. I love every time I see it, it just makes me happy. And I loved this color from Bottega, but some of the bags, I just, I haven't, I can't commit to them. I like a lot of them. I really liked the mini Jody in this color but I just found the zipper annoying and it was already an impractical bag. So I was thinking like, am I really willing to put up with this annoying little thing for it? And I just realized I didn't love it enough. Um, some of the others, like the pouch is just not right for my lifestyle at all. <laughs> lifestyle at all. I find it a little annoying to hold. So yeah, I couldn't convince myself to get any other items from Bottega in this color. I would consider getting some of just their large, simple leather zippered pouches. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with this card holder and it's held up really well for being a light color and lambskin. So, so that's something. You can tell that it's stretched out a little bit, but otherwise it looks brand new. And the final piece, the final piece of lilac, lavender, whatever it is, is right here. Now, yes, this is a red bag, but the scarf I have on it is this gorgeous combination of purple and white and red. Now it's the red that makes it match beautifully with this bag, but it is the lilac tone that grabbed me. It was the thing that made me want this scarf so badly. I love combining colors like this because it just makes it easier to style. It makes it a little bit more fun, a little less traditional just something a little unexpected about an, or an already really cool bag with some unexpected details. So yeah, I just, uh, I love it. I love seeing it. I love especially pairing it with the Bottega wallet. Okay, so I think that is everything. I just grabbed all the little bits and bobs from around my apartment and I had no idea how much purple I had picked up in the last year and a half. So thank you so much for watching my very first tag video. I will tag someone down below and over on Instagram because 
I knew that there was a particular color they love and I would just love to see all the little things that they couldn't help but pick up in this color. Please let me know, is there a color that you're obsessed with and that like, oh man, if you're out in the store and you see something in that color, you can't help yourself because clearly that is something I can relate to. I mean, I'm not done. I am not at all apologetic for this and I sh I'm very encouraging of Dale getting maybe a lilac purse to share on her channel one day when she finds the right one that she's comfortable with. I would definitely be adding a purple purse to my collection maybe in the next year or two if I can find the right one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Introducing my very first tag video. It's a little nerve wracking, but kind of exciting. Okay.